Hi, I'm Paul Friedman. I'm the founder of the Marriage Foundation. And the question here is really interesting. And I think I'm going to be able to help you with this quite a bit. The question is, why am I losing interest in my marriage? And if you don't mind, I'd like to change that a little bit into why am I losing interest in my husband or my wife? Because what is marriage? Marriage is sort of like the environment that you as soulmates live within, but it's dependent upon your relationship with your soulmate. So what you're really losing interest in is your soulmate. And the reason why is going to surprise you maybe. It's because you got married for two major reasons, but they were subconscious. One is you wanted to be happy, and the other is that you wanted to learn how to love each other unconditionally. Now, you should subscribe to this channel so you could learn about marriage the right way. But those are the reasons why people get married. You know, people say, well, I got married because I wanted to have a family. I got married because I met my soulmate. And all of those reasons, even reasons like I got married for money. I got married to get a green card. Even those reasons always boil down to I wanted to be happier. Isn't it so? So the thing about marriage that makes marriage what it is, is love. But what happens is after we get married, after the honeymoon, maybe even before the honeymoon these days, everyone is uh, sexually intimate before the honeymoon anyway, pretty much. But what happens is we start leading our lives leaving love for special occasions or hopefully but probably not for when we're sexual with one another but remember what love is remember that feeling that you had when you were exchanging your vows and it was overwhelming within your heart you couldn't even take it your mind couldn't handle it that's love you're literally supposed to be feeling that love constantly. But it doesn't just come naturally. I mean, it does, but the mind gets in the way. What happens is you get into leading your lives on a mundane level, taking care of this, taking care of that, worrying about the bills, the kids and all of that. And that's only so interesting because it's just life. What's really interesting is love because love has no boundary. It goes on forever. It's infinite. And that's what's captivating to us. We're human beings. We're souls. We have a body. We have a mind. But we're not our body or our mind. We are souls. Souls are all about love. Love is infinite. Your lives have become mundane. Isn't it so? And that is why you're losing interest. You're not losing interest in marriage. Your consciousness, your attention is being diverted. You're distracted from the reason you got married in the first place. And what should you do about it? Well, you should start cultivating the love between you and your spouse, your soulmate. You should be cultivating the devotion you have for them. You should be putting the emphasis of your thinking on loving thoughts about them. And you should be stopping the mind. It's your mind. You have control over it from taking you down stupid roads, distractions, silly things and focus on love. Love is where it's at, isn't it? That's why we got married. I've been doing this for over 20 years. I started out as a divorce mediator, so I've seen it all. I've seen where people said, I don't love my husband anymore. I don't love my wife anymore. I want out. But at that time, I didn't understand marriage. We're not taught marriage. We're not taught love. If you look up love, 
you'll find that it's an emotion. But it isn't an emotion. It's much greater than an emotion. And you know that from your experience of love. We have to learn these things in order to really get the most out of marriage. So hopefully you're a subscriber or you will subscribe to this channel. You'll leave a like. Maybe you could leave a comment if you want. But we're here to help you at the Marriage Foundation, and I hope to see you again. God bless you. Take care. Take care. Think about love.